Uh, great race, Andy. You got the better of William this time. Are you enjoying the rivalry? Yeah, it's healthy. Yeah, it's close. Uh, but, you know, I think we're both going to the race. Not trying to beat each other, just trying to win the race. Um, we're both capable of winning the race today. Um, but, you know, uh, the Jamaican boy, he ran a good, he ran a good one. So uh, I'm happy to come, to come second. And, uh, yeah, I think I'll beat Will by like 200s. I think that's what he did to me at the, at the trials. So it's nice to get on back. Yeah, but, very close again. You know, we're both going to it, just trying to be the best we can be rather than you know, ch challenging each other. And then, um, yeah, you ran a fast time. Does that confirm that your preparation's on track for Barcelona? Yeah, yeah, things are going well right now. Uh, uh, you know, I've been having these Achilles issues all year, and um, I'd say the last two, three weeks, um, we've really, really been getting on top of it. And uh, you know, I'm feeling the results now. I'm, I'm, I'm able to train more, uh, more consistently. And um, you know, I think my performances are starting to show that. The 13:30 two nights ago, and then 41 just here. Um, so yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I feel that things are going good right now. Just need to have clean hurdles races and. Right, as that, and you know, things will be, things will go well. It was, it was okay. I mean, I jumped 41, and then was going for 51, and like my 41 jump was a really good jump, and then we got a bit unlucky with the um, winds at 51, and we had a headwind, and we had to make some adjustments. So, um, but now I just got to keep plugging away. Um, and hopefully, it'll come good at the Europeans. I'm a bit disappointed with the 200. It was a slow time, and just didn't feel great. Um, but then, for a good uh, season, the best in the javelin, so it's kind of a low and a high. So I think I can take away some positives from today so I'm, I'm quite pleased. And how are your preparations going on the whole for Barcelona? Yeah they're going well, um, I feel like I've had a good season and things have been kind of rolling on nicely, um, missed a couple of weeks for a virus that I'm kind of catching up a little bit on now um, but apart from that I'm feeling good and looking forward to Barcelona. Um, you know got out very fast, you know I was running you know, very well up until you know about 60 meters I started to ease you know a bit and um, Tyson I didn't see him coming and you know it was a bit too late to hold him off you know to the finish line. And then um, it must be hard with no sort of world or Olympics this year. Do you um, concentrate on winning races or getting a fast time? Yeah that's that's the aim you know, just to win you know run fast times this year you know there's no major championship as you said you know but to run fast you know and win the races that's the aim. Yeah, it was, uh, it was quite good. It was a small field for the Diamond League. I'd come here expecting to be way out the back, holding on on the first lap, but luckily for me, it was a nice nine man field. Uh, not too many eight minute guys in there, so it was a nice, perfect, competitive field for me. Uh, got out, committed, moved through, and just picked the guy on the line for fourth, so I'm pretty happy. Anna? I think mine was pretty good. It was nice. Um... It's hard like mentally because the trials is such a big target and I think I cope with that quite well. Like, I managed to get quite like, excited for this race and it's always fun to do such a big race in England rather than going abroad. But I think hopefully it's set me up well to go off to Monte Gordo and start like, my final preparations for Europeans. And it was nice to be at race together. Barcelona Olympics is the first Olympics I ever remember in 92. So uh, yeah, can't wait to compete in the same arena. And what have you got planned between now and then? Um, the holding camp, um, UK, Viva holding camp in Monte Gordo. Um, went there last year for Berlin. It was perfect preparation before the championships then. So really looking forward to, you know, utilising everyone, the great support team out there, and hopefully that'll get me in top shape like it did last year. I've always said since um, Berlin last year that, you know, I want to get on the podium at every championships um, since then. Uh, really fortunate I was able to do that in Doha. Uh, Berlin, um, sorry, Barcelona even, all the bees. To keep forgetting. Um, you know, it'd be really hard. So I've been over the Russian as you know, come out running really, really well. I think my time at the moment is still a second fastest in Europe. Um, but there's lots of other good girls. Um, you know, Gemma Simpson, the British girl, she's really phenomenal. So I think getting that final first and foremost, and uh, you know, hopefully see what happens from there. And like you said, Gemma Simpson's running so well. Definitely. Does that rivalry help push you both on, do you think, to do well in the Europeans? Yeah, I think it does. You know, Gemma and I both respect each other. Um, and Marilyn, you know, Marilyn's 100% fit. It's really helped us these last few years. We really just push each other on. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do the um, UK champs, but Gemma looked phenomenal there. And, you know, I said to her, you know, go away. I know she's going away training now, ready for uh, Barcelona. I'm sure Gemma will be, you know, a really hard athlete to compete against. But, um, you know, hopefully we can all get in the final and fight it out for the medal. And you've come so far in the last few years. What do you attribute to that success? 
Uh, the word I always use is just perseverance. Um, you know, I've been in the sport a long time now, and uh, you know, never really won any medals as a junior or under 23 relay medals, which was, you know, great to keep me going in the sport. But um, never say never. Just keep persevering. Um, you know, last year just surprised me as much as everybody else, and I think it's just because I've kept going all these years and. Uh, I think definitely, good things definitely happen to those who wait. So yeah, just keep going, believe in yourself, keep training hard, and I'm sure a little bit of luck will come your way eventually. <laughs>